Am I live? I am. Good morning. It is November the 28th, Tuesday. Um, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. <clears throat> I'm still getting over a bit of a cold that I had. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't stream or anything or whatever during the break. Not that I could have. I had my husband. I had my two girls. It was wackadoodle. Um, but it's a good thing I wasn't streaming because, oh my goodness, did I lose my voice. I lost it so dang bad it wasn't even funny. Uh, my kids thought it was funny, but you know. But I am kid-free today. Uh, what I want to do, hi Tweedles, what I want to do is um, go through my current whips, works in progress, this being one of them. I got a brand new ivy in the inky butterfly because heaven forbid I have just one. Um, I, and I started working on it last night, so this is adding to my whip, my works in progress. I take my little flag, I put it in the top right corner. Completed, gets a flag in the top left. Works in progress, get a flag in the top right. Just how I roll, because when I put it on the bookshelf, I can't see these, so I don't feel so bad. But I can see all the completed ones. Um, Sorry about the streak of light. Not a whole lot I can do about it. I have turned my blinds the way I can to get the least amount of streakiness. Um, so there is that. This is work in progress number one. Let me put away. These are all the pencils I have planned out using Prismacolor. I've been watching a lot of Laura Rafferty lately. Uh, she's Laura Colors 2 T O O on Instagram. And she has made me like my Pris. I don't I don't know that I love them yet, but she's made me like my Prismas. Um so I've been doing and she's made me she, I realize I am I am I'm a pencil girl. As much as I, I try to force myself to do wet media and I like oh, I like the wet media I really do but uh, I, I'm a pencil girl I am in my heart I'm a pencil girl so I'm gonna put all those prismas off to the side um let me see I got my little color chart here I was gonna go with this nice um Christmassy thing that I got off of design seeds uh design-seeds.com if you go there it's the third or fourth one down in their regular blog. It's not that it's not been that long ago that they posted this this palette. Um, I was gonna go with this, but then I did the gold, and the gold and this didn't work well together. So I went with a pinkier red instead of a. a I don't know, regular red. I went with a pinkier raspberry and oh what was the other one it was raspberry and oh oops my bad um crimson lake Pomer no pomegranate and magenta see i don't even know what i'm doing and then some turquoises which oh, next to that gold doesn't that just look amazing i love it Hi, good morning, Jen. So this is work in progress number one. No problem, Jen, I understand. So to be honest, if I was going to choose a work in progress to work on, this has got my attention. I don't necessarily have ADD, but um, I only... I can only work on what I'm inspired to work on. And right now, this has inspired me. So I'm going to move my Prismas. I have an entire stack of books that have my work in progress flags that I'm going to go through. 
because why not, right? So this is Fairy Magic by Selena Finich. Um, I love, I love, I love, love, love her illustrations. I hate Create Space Paper. I just do. It's just, I mean, so this is Prisma's. I was working on this. I had this idea for this really bright. It was like lime peel to chartreuse to yellow chartreuse. I was uh, going to fade it out like that. But it never, like I couldn't get it to get in there. And that bugs me on Create Space Paper. And see, not even a blender is really helping. So... <clears throat> Until I can find a process that I like on Create Space, I may actually just leave these for just regular markers. But um, I don't know that I'm going to be working on Create Space paper if I can help it. Nothing against the artist. I do, I, I believe I can get, uh, I believe I can get digital downloads. Um from Selena Finnish and I that's what I'll have to do. I'll just have to download digitally and print on the paper that I want to work on. But then I have loose paper and that bugs me too. So finished work in progress. This is my Mythomorphia that is strictly for colored pencils only. The other my second copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, this will be for colored pencils only. Because I have come to the realization I am a pencil girl. I am. I appreciate those who can work in the wet media. I can fudge my way through it. But, you know, who likes to fudge, right? So, this is finished. I keep knocking that. Hold on. There we go. We're just going to unplug my phone and pray it doesn't go out of batteries. So I have the new iPhone 8 Plus and the battery life on this has been most impressive, let me tell you. So this is actually, was my first full pencil work in Mythomorphia. When I got this book, it was full pencil. And this is all polychromos and, and, and uh, some pebbles chalk. I like it. So this is a work in progress, but this bugs me. I did find at Barnes and Nobles a Mythomorphia that didn't have the gap, and I almost like I almost bought it, but it's like no, I have three already. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so I I did the Water Dragon, loved him, Marco Renoir's. The oil pencils, not the Rafines, but the oil pencils. Loved it. Love, 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 love. And some gel pen to make to make some foam. Loved how that turned out. And then I was going to do the fire dragon. And the background I did. Um, I was going to do them all in pastel pencils. But I didn't like the way the pastel pencils rubbed on this. I mean, look. It's very just didn't rub on there. I mean, I've got it rubbed in pretty good. So then I took Prismacolor and kind of ran out of steam. So I do want to finish this one. I don't think this is a lost cause. Um, I think I can salvage this pretty good. I just have to remember. Usually I, I sticky note the colors I'm using, but I didn't on that one. And of course this is finished. Uh, I'm so proud of this one. I can't even tell you guys. Like, I am so proud of this one. I think it, I think it turned out beautiful. Love it. I think that's the only, yeah, that was the only work in progress in that one. <clears throat> this is another Mythomorphia. Uh, I think this is the middle one where I was originally gonna do colored pencil only and then I did something 
I did acrylic. And I was like, well, this can't be a colored pencil only book anymore. I must get another one, right? Hey, totally. Uh, hi, cats. I used Derwent Artist to get this nice little green, but I don't. Thank you, Jen. I loved that page. But I don't know. I, I really do want to finish this because I love the green. I love the green. See, my other work in progress, I was doing, I was following a tutorial by Amanda, all A-L-L-J art on YouTube. But I really just don't like the way water media works in this book. It just drives me bonkers. And this is another favorite of mine. These were color soft. What other one did I have finished in here? Oh, yeah, the siren. This was mostly colored pencil, too. Because, like I said, this was going to be a colored pencil only book, and then I did the acrylic wash, and then, you know, whatever. <laughs> And this was the first, the first Mythomorphia I ever bought. And you can tell us a little more worn here. I was using, I was following a lot of uh, funny designs, Heather. So there's a lot of watercolor in here where it was just a rigor. And this looks like, this looks like it might have been um, Hydrus. This guy was all uh, pastel pencil. So I've got this on here so he doesn't rub on anything else. Hey, you both are Jen. Um, yeah, so I was using Neo 2. I was like, oh, I'll do this pretty blue background. And no, like, I don't even know what I'm gonna do here. I was very upset. This is finished all in ink tents. This was fun, I liked this one. This turned out really good. It takes ink tents pretty good. I mean, it takes water good, it's just washes of water it doesn't do. And this was ink tents, so this is a work in progress. And I was putting way too much water on here. It's really, really buckled. But I kind of like where I was going with it. I might finish this. That wax paper. Let's see. This I had done a gesso, gesso and Neo Color 2 and it wasn't wasn't doing what I wanted. I was very see, I was very sad. I need to work on I need to work on my wet media. I just don't know that I want to put the effort into it as much as I want to put my effort into colored pencil work. So we'll see. I may play like this will be my playbook. You know, try try this effect, try that and Whatever. A lot of this is actually from when I first started coloring. Oh, there's my finished turtle. Um, this I was doing with pastel pencils. I like the pastel pencils. I really do. Um, they just don't get, like, they don't get very deep in here. I don't know if it's because I'm not leaving enough pastel on the paper or if I'm trying to rub it in too much, but I do like pastel pencils. So that turned out really nice. Maybe I just need to use some darker colors. I don't know. Let's see. Medusa. I got stuck trying to figure out how I wanted to color the snakes. My daughter, <clears throat> my oldest, wants to be a reptile vet. Um, 
so she chose the snake and of course the snake picture she chose was like highly complicated and I am not there yet <laughs> so I'll come back to this because I love I love how her skin turned out I'm very pleased with this I just need to come back to it and it's a mix of some it's all polychromos but it's a mix of flesh colors and then some of the greens I know it was earth green yellowish oh and something else I don't remember this has been a while now I even did a cleft chin I was pretty impressed with myself because <laughs> I'm not good at faces and that turned out really good I think let's see oh and this I did with ink tents and watercolor pencils and I'm not I don't like that I like the rocks the rocks are turning out awesome I don't like that <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is really bleh today. Let's see. And then this I was going to do as part of a Halloween color along, and I just never finished. So I'll come back and finish this. I did the background with a black Posca pen. Do I still have it? I do. I got the big, the big black Posca, the 5M. Because my uh, my Jerry's Artorama now has that big Posca show showcase thing, yeah, that's all in that one. So these these were some older pictures that I had done, but not as old as some of these. This was oh yeah, this was my original one. I have two of the I have two of the Imaginamorphias. Because, again, I'm crazy. This is all ink tents, but I screwed up right down here. I may go in with a black Posca and just do that. I like how this was turning out. It's looking really good. Really good. I love Egyptian, so this, this was looking really good. But I was smart and put down what I was using. Yay! Did I finish something in here? Oh yeah, this was ink tents and prismas. I used a pencil over it. It might have been prisma color. This was way way early on. Um, pretty sure this was ink tents pencils. If I had not done the background, I think I'd be okay with it. But the caught the background. I mean, look at that. But it is what it is. I knew what I knew, and I didn't know a lot. So, that's okay. Got to learn, and I was learning. All right, so, this is my colored pencil, only a match morphine. <laughs> right? Because I'm silly. Uh... Started on this. This was uh, color soft. Derwent color soft. I really like the this color here, uh, but I gave my color softs to my daughter, so I don't know that I'll be able to get them back from her to finish that. And I started this one day when I was sick and sitting on the couch. I don't really like coloring on the couch though. Um, and this was I was watching. Uh, always coloring Katrina Katria I was watching always coloring and I was inspired by her color choices so hi loves coloring welcome to the stream so I'm I'll probably come back to this because I like how soft that is and nice poly, uh, polychromos that's what I was using and it was the flesh colors so dark flesh, medium flesh, and light flesh. No problem, Jen. Have a good day. <clears throat> and my Anamorphia. I think this, I think Imagimorphia I got first, and then I got Anamorphia. Let's see. This was Hydrus. Fresh wet out of the bottle hydrus 
and I was following with bunny designs. Heather there. And, I mean, it was okay. There, it's just, this is such a big area to do. So, you know. But I'll probably go in and finish it because it was very, it was nice. I mean, it's not bad, right? Let's see, I think the other one is Hydra's too. Yeah, no, this was watercolors. The six, six watercolors. And then I mixed every color on here. These were Cotman's, Windsor and Newton, New, uh, Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolors. So this was fun. I I had six colors: the two reds, two yellows, two blues. So mixed every color in here. And then, of course, I was getting to the bear, and that's, it's just such a big area, and you can't, you can't take a rigger and do that. Like, it's, it's not something you can do. Oh, and this one, I love this book. It's so cute. Tenderful Enchantment by Clara Markova. Adorable book. I like her books. I just have a hard time figuring out what I'm going to do with them. And then I did something and now I kind of regret it. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's too much. I mean, the, the paper takes the water pretty good. I only had one little bleed through right there and that is simply because I kept putting water right here and that was my own fault I just kept watering I was trying to darken it here and so that was my fault and then I let edges dry and I that's that's one of my problems I let edges dry and I shouldn't but with two kids it's very difficult it's very difficult to watercolor it just, it just is. They require attention. They require things. And so I go do it and I come back and I have dry edges. And that's just kind of what happens. That's literally my only whip in this so far is just this page. Because I, for real, I can't figure out what I want to do. I love this page. Like, I know I want to do stuff, but I don't know, like, I don't know how to go about it yet. Hopefully I'll figure that out. And this one, Collage Arts, Escapes Coloring Book, I think is adorable. Uh, it's got like that old country kind of feel to it with those old seed packages and the farmer's almanac and that type of feel to it where it's got the very muted colors. Um, I've seen, oh goodness, what's her name? Let me go YouTube real quick. Coloring with Elena. Uh, she's done some pages out of this and I really like it. I found one that I'm actually using an Alphonse Musha picture as inspiration. I think that'll be very pretty. This is a was it sandbar brown and marine green back here to go all the way around and uh I have a picture that I saved of a girl that looks very similar to this so it'll be like the muted pinks and soft greens and all those very soft colors that you get from Alphonse Mucha I think that'll be fun and this is a cute book the paper is okay um, where did I do my, I did a test somewhere. I did, right? I thought I did a test. Huh. The paper's okay. It's very thin. Like, you can see the image on the back side. 
I mean, I don't know if you could see it. See right there, you can see. So it's very thin. It's almost newspaper. Well, not newspapery. Newspaper has more tooth. But it's very smooth. Um, it's just it's just an odd paper. It's not it's not one I've I've experienced before. But it seems to take the uh, the Prisma colors pretty good. So I'm gonna stick with that. My other Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I am still working on the Wonder Room. This this desk is taking up a lot of time. And like I said, I have two now, and this will be my wet media plus colored pencil, while the other one will be strictly colored pencil. I've broken every nail this last week. Um, so that'll be fun. But I, I like, so these are the Pablos, the Neo Color 2s, and the Super Color. So the whole Carandosh range so that it all melds and I'm not like, is this burnt sienna, does that match this burnt sienna? They do because it's Carandosh and it, it, it's the same burnt sienna throughout, I hope. I don't know about the Luminance, but Pablo's Super Colors and Neo Color 2, it's the same sienna throughout and it's the same beige throughout, etc., etc. And I've got my list of pencils that I'm using. So this will be fun when it's done. It's just, oh my gosh, is it a, is it a, a, a project? So, and trying to make the cubbies look like they're pushed back, you know, that's, that was fun to try and do. So I have three copies of this book. Um, I only got three copies because the poor lady who was doing the group order, she had somebody back out and I told her that if she did, because she can, she was saying that that was a problem. I said, if she has somebody back out, I will buy an extra book. So I did. And I gave it to my daughter. So I have two books. Again, this will be my any media book. The other one will be my colored pencil only book. Um, so this was ink tense. I had sprayed a workable fixative on this. So it's got a little more tooth than the paper normally does. This was my Neo Color 2 test with overworkable fixative. thought that turned out really nice. My City in the Sky, that was really cool. Let's see. Whip number one. Nope, that's not it. I am not working on that page. <laughs> no, ma'am. Uh, so I was following... I don't like following tutorials. So when I do, I never finish them, and I really got to stop doing that. I was. I had started finish, uh, following a tutorial, uh, Julie's Passion for Coloring, on this page. Um, and this was my Derwent Artists. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how many colors are on these bricks. It's a lot, suffice to say. Um, I think I was using every pencil, though. Like, there's Derwent Color Soft on here. There's Erosia Tin, which worked pretty good on this paper. Um... I forget what other color, because I had put them all in a bin, and I was just, I did them by color. This was, I was color along with my daughter. Uh, she's not worked on it any, so I've kind of stopped to let her catch up. She is not one to sit there for longer than five minutes at a time, so I promised her I would stop. really like how the Aurora Borealis turned out. Um... And then I'm trying to keep a little bit of green on some stuff. And the the ice ice sickles or snow sickles or whatever, um, those will get some stickles and whatnot. Uh, let's see. This girl, I I'd started back when I first got my first my Koinors, and I have my colors picked out. I had a palette. 
Currently I'm using this Target brand Handmade Modern. I don't know if you can see that. It's called Handmade Modern Metallic Penny. I'm using that to kind of outline where I did the Neo. I did a goldish Neo 2 wash. So I'm going to go in and outline all that. Um, I'm not unhappy with this page at all. The outlining is so tedious and that's a bit more tedious than I'm good with. I did this section last night. Um, and I just, the, the metallic pencil is scratchy in some parts and then really like soft in others. So it's a very weird pencil to work with. So I think that's part of the problem. That's one of my finished pages. I really love this. Oh. Working, this is my polychromos on the dragon. I've got the arch here done. So then I was moving over to this arch. Uh, the dragon is done. But this is all polychromos and some white Posca for some highlights. Then I get I get so I get bored of the tedious stuff. Like the I got I got bored doing this. The the archways. And so I stopped. Uh, I need to not do that. Because there's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this picture. I don't feel like I messed it up and I have to you know, scrap it or anything like that. I really like how it's turning out. I, uh, I don't like the tedious coloring these big areas. Hi, coloring away. I think that's why I like, I like pictures with lots of stuff because then I don't feel so tedious just doing this big giant area you know that's my own that's my own shortcoming I recognize it let's see what else got something else here oh bird here I was working with Derwent Colorsoft like I said gave them to my daughter don't know that I'll get them back I might try matching uh, polychromos or something to that or even another the Derwent this is finished ink tents and polychromos um, this guy I was at my mom's last Christmas when I started working on this and uh, yeah I mean it's okay I kind of like it the orange is a bit weird but I, I guess I could work with it Got another one. Nope. And then my castle, which is the, I've got, so let's see, it was paper castell polychromos, and then an erogeton. I love the erogeton color cork. That's an awesome color. Love it. So I was working on this. I'll continue working on this. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, the tedium of coloring all the walls brown got to me. So, but I like how the Neo Color 2 background came out. I think that turned out really pretty. Um, so, I'll finish it eventually. Hopefully, maybe, kind of, sort of. Skyming's Timon. Maria Troll, I don't remember what this is called in English. Um, I got it from Printworks, which I don't know that I would ever recommend Printworks, but there you go. This is Ink Tents. I love my Ink Tents, as you can tell. But I'm trying to find the good balance between coloring it on and then wetting it versus taking from the tip and painting it on. Let's see. This is ink tents also. Oh, I didn't have that in camera. This is ink tents also. I was not entirely pleased with how that turned out. So why do I have one sitting in the middle? Oh, this is one I want to do. I think that's adorable. 
I just don't know how I want to do it yet. So I put a flag in the middle to say, hey, keep thinking about this page. That's all out of that one. Twilight Garden. This I got from Amazon. The paper in these books, these two books, it's a very smooth paper. Like, But the paper in this book is very much different from the paper in the Skymings Timon that I got from Printworks. The Printworks paper is so much smoother. Like, there's hardly any tooth on that one. Hi, Christy Colors. Welcome to the stream. Talking about my works in progress and trying to figure out whether or not I can salvage and work on them. This was all Erogeton pencils. This was Ink Tent, no, Neo Color 2s and Prisma Colors. And I did not like how the Prisma Colors colored on this paper. I was not impressed with that. I think I tried a couple different, I think I tried Polychromos and Prisma Color, and I was not pleased with how those worked on that paper. This was all Neo Color 2. This is a giant wash, background wash with, what did I use? Oh, I used the Jane Davenport Brights. Nice big wash. I missed a spot, I'll have to get that. But I don't think this is lost at all. I like hydrangeas, I really wanna work on those. Thank you, Christy. So, this is not a loss to cause. I'll work on this. This was all a Rogerton also. This was Neo Color 2 background. I I don't like it. <laughs> I think I was testing something out and it did not work out very well, which is fine. I don't really like this page anyway. I think I I think I have it in a postcard anyway, so no problem there. This is Ink Tense, I like, I love sunflowers. I used to grow them. They would grow to be seven and eight feet tall. And I had these beautiful dark ones that were these dark oranges and dark reds. And I really wanted to pull some of that out. And I had, because I grew them for a couple years, they ended up hybriding, Hi, you know what I mean or the traits of one mixed with like a yellow. And so then it got a couple traits. So uh, the birds were kind to my sunflowers, the birds and the bees. And so I was mimicking my backyard and my old house. I think that's it in that one. So I have, I have colored quite a few pages. I just, Sitting down to a whole one. Uh, Fantastisch Mabouche by Colin Thompson. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. Amazing, amazing illustrations. This was all... That feels like my Cotman's. Yeah. The Windsor Newton Cotman's. The Six Colors. And I... Uh, no... That's not all Windsor Newton Cotman's. So that's other stuff too. I don't know which. But, you know, little rigger brush. Little painting on. Kind of cute. I like it. I'll eventually work on it some more. I mean, it's, I don't, I don't hate it. There's just a lot. <laughs> There's a lot there to, to work on. So I haven't even touched this other page. Oh, I knocked it. Sorry. This is all ink tents, pencils, and watercolor pencils, the Derwents. I started working on, I did this one and these down here the other day. Very fun. I love doing just each little individual on its own. That's fun. I like doing that. So I don't have to, I don't have to make sure the colors in this one match the colors in this one match the colors in this one. So I don't have to worry about all that. But it is a lot. It does take time. And when I feel like messing with my ink tenses, I usually pull this out. 
This I did all in pastel pencils. Loved the bone, the bone city. That's what I ended up calling it, the bone city. Loved how this turned out. Very fun. And then this was, oh, this was my Cotman's where I was mixing all the colors. Just taking a little rigger brush and I did every individual brick in this house. That took a little bit of time, gonna be honest. But this is a, this is a fun book. I like it. This is my tester, tester page. And to be fair, all of these works in progress. I pulled out all my books and looking over at my bookshelf, this is not half. This is not even half of my coloring book collection. I have issues. Let's see. Oh, I was working on January. That's right. I'm going to have a sneeze. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Sorry about that. So this was actually my Derwent Artist Pencils. I keep shaking this. I need to stop that. Um, I want to love those pencils. Like, I... Yes, coloring away. That is... It is a lot of books. I have over 125 last count, and I've added since that count. So... Yeah, I've got a couple books. But then I also have multiples. So I don't know. Do you, do you count the multiples? I mean, really. Uh, I want to love my Derwent artists. I want to love them. I don't. I just... I just don't. I can't... I can't seem to get... I mean, they work really well. But I... Like, I like the effect that... It has, it just, like I can feel where I was pressing hard, you know? I don't like that. What did I do back here? Oh, I was testing watercolor. So, that was fun. Now see, and I've, I started dating when I completed pictures. Because that way I knew, I could go through and like see... How I've progressed, you know? This is one I went and had printed. The, um, the Mica Jelena. These are all, um, gray scale. And there's more than 12. This is just the page I picked for whatever reason. This was all... Uh, alcohol markers. And then, let's see. I did this one in alcohol markers, but then, like, what do you do with the rest of it? Does it, does it actually need anything? So, that's the only thing that kills me about some of these. I mean, they're beautiful pictures. I really like them. Uh, oh, yeah, I have the advanced what she calls the advanced grayscale and then the beginner grayscale. So, I mean, they're cute. Look at that. That's adorable. But then, I don't know. It's just my play with alcohol markers. This is really good. It's like 80 pound paper from, um, where did I have this printed? UPS store. Lizzie Mary Cullen, Magical City. One little flap for done. Is that just one? No, I only have one work in progress in here. I love this book. This is a gorgeous book. And look at this, so much fun. So this was Piccadilly Circus. My husband went to London, and I got an actual picture of Piccadilly Circus. So that was nice. Um... Let's see, what was I, oh, I was working on Hyde Park. Actually, husband got me a picture of that too. Um, but this is Inktense Pencils. 
Love it. Oh, and I use some watercolor pencils because you can't, some of these you just ink tend so you can't just get the picture. Hi, Naomi. Welcome to the stream. I'm just showing off my works in progress. But I like this. I'll continue this one. I just, uh, the perspective is so wonky that I have to like do it in pieces. So when I want to work on ink tents, I pull out these books too. Here is The Magical Journey. I really want to get uh, Magical Christmas. I think that would be an excellent book. Um, I've only started one one page in here. Oh, excuse me. Is this one? What is it? London Flower Market. So, started this one. Really like it. Um, I'll finish it. Like I said, it's the perspective is wonky. Kind of makes me have to really think about what is this in relation to other things? Like, what is this? It's a pillar. How is it situated? So, I just work on it a little bit at a time. I like these books, though. Rhapsody in the Forest. I've also got Minuet de Bon Hair there, too. What did I start? Oh, I was, I think I was working with my Derwent artists again. So if you ever see <laughs> where I do this brickwork, I don't know why I got it in my head that I could only do this type of brickwork with the Derwent artists, but I've got this in several books where I started with the artists and I started with brickwork because why not, right? So I may try to erase this. And these, these books are so good with watercolor. It's not even funny. Um, so I may try to work on it like that. And then Minuet de Bon Hair. This was all watercolor pencil and ink tents. This was all ink tents and... I forget which pencils, probably Prismacolors. I did kind of like a, not a live stream, but I did a live tweet, live Instagram of, I did these, here's the pencils I used, and then I colored them, here's the pencils I used. My dirty bird. And I had started, I was going in order for whatever reason, I started this with the watercolor pencils. It's cute, I'll keep going with it. Like I said, this this takes water like a champ. I mean, there's hardly any, any buckling whatsoever. Then I was trying to do this for Halloween and I don't know where I was going. Like I was trying to, this is a picture or a painting on a wall and then you have, <clears throat> You have two lights lighting the pa the painting. But I, I couldn't, like I know what I want to do with it, but I don't have the skills yet to pull that off. So this will get held until I have skills. Mad, mad skills. <laughs> Another purchase from Printworks, Sagar Oak Sagner by Emile... Lena Hall Oberg, Oberg, Oberg. It's a cute book. I don't like it. I don't like the book. It's not the paper, it's the pictures. I don't, I don't like it. But this is my only whip so far. And I was using Prismacolors, and I was pressing pretty hard. I mean, like, I was, I was burnishing. The ink was moving. So there's streaks of, like, black ink. 
and I don't like that. Um, I know you can't see it, I can see it, and I could feel it. I could, I could watch it happen. I didn't like that. Um, I really, like, I like the pictures for what they are. I don't necessarily, like, I don't necessarily think I would enjoy coloring them. Maybe that will change. Maybe this book will go to my daughter. We'll see. We'll see. But it's that same, like, when I buy from Printworks, like, the paper they have is just so smooth. I don't know. Like, I don't necessarily know that they realize that this it's not good paper. <laughs> like, you need paper that can take pencils. I wish, wish, wish I could have another book with the paper she has in here. But I bought the download version and, and printed my own. This is my current whip. I was very upset thinking I messed it up with alcohol markers. Um... I may go in and try to fix it because I spent days on her skin with polychromos. I spent days, 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 days. And then I spent days on the background. And then I go in and I mess it all up. <laughs> in my eyes, I mess it all up with alcohol markers because that's just what I do, right? Right. This was Gesso watercolor wash and Prismacolor pencils. Really like this. And then this was all alcohol markers. But I love, I love the paper. The paper in this is just amazing. And I wish Jowie Lim would print another printing of this. That is my wish. Friends of Nature by Jowie Lim. Joey. Joey. J-O-W-I-E. Joey. Joey Lim. Paper is amazing in this book. It is out of print. But you can go to her Etsy site and purchase download. So there is there is that option. Uh, Serena by Mardell Rubio. I <laughs> I was funny. I was trying to follow Dee Dee. Dee Dee colors so dang fast. Um, but I was trying to follow Dee Dee a little bit. Using my Brights palette, the Jane Davenport, and then Prismacolor. Uh, I don't, I don't like how it looks. The Prismacolor on top. Like I think I would just shade it with watercolor. But the paper is pretty good. Like I, I saturated the heck out of this paper, and it's it's only a little buckled. I don't think you can see that. I think it's only a little buckled. So that's cool. Um, and then I would think I was doing, yeah. I was using pastel pencils on this one. I know, color. I wish it wasn't limited edition either. But maybe if enough people bug her, she can run another print on it. Heck, I'd, I'd pre-order. You know, I've pre-ordered other books. But... This was pastel pencils. Works pretty good, actually. And the fact that these are one-sided means I don't have to leave a piece of paper here so it doesn't get on other stuff. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Secret Garden. I was, I was coloring the outside. I don't, I don't like any other Joanna Bassford book except Inky and the Ivy Butterfly. I, I just don't. I just don't. Like, there are... I like certain images. This was... I was testing. I was following Passion for Pencils. Henny. 
And uh, so I was testing out cold, cold grays and warm grays. So I was testing. I was following, I think it was DK Design. I was following a tutorial. Couldn't even tell you where I left off, so this is probably a lost cause. Also, I did not like how much. I think at the time, I was not aware of light layers. Like, I thought you just put it on, and then, you know, put something on top of it. And then I had such wax build up, I couldn't get anything else on, and so, whatever. This I sprayed works, workable fixative and I was doing my Derwent Artist rocks. See, this I think this is where the idea that I had to do rocks and bricks and everything with the Derwent Artist. I like how this was turning out. Like, no joke, I liked this. This is really good. These were my, this, this was my light source. My light source. A light source here, a light source here, because it was coming down. You know, you know, you know. So, I liked how this was turning out. Like, I would finish this. But, I would never color this. Like, I mean, I get there are people that do it. And I used to do mandalas. Um, but this isn't, this isn't my jam. And good on those who do it. Because, not my jam. I like pictures. Lost Ocean. There's some really good pictures in here. But again, I was following a tutorial by uh, Passion for Pencils Henny, um, where she was putting on her shadow first and then coloring. This was Polychromos. It was, it was a fun little experiment it helped teach me about the shadows in the back but I don't know that I'll finish this unless because I don't like the colors there I would think she was using a different brand of pencils oh I'm gonna have to blow my nose oh, not right now magical jungle I think I finished one Looks like I finished one. I hit it again. Dang it, stop. Oh, I did. I finished this. This is cute. This was all uh, polychromos. And then this is polychromos as well. Again, following something along. I know coloring. I have I have all of her books. I have multiples. <laughs> I have multiples of all of her books. And I, yeah, I only like Inky and the Ivy Butterfly. I know. I'm so when my family found out that I was into coloring, these are very widely known. These are found everywhere. So I got them. Um I only purchased two of her books. I purchased this one. And I purchased the first secret garden. The rest were given to me. And then I bought the ivy and the inky butterflies. But, um, yeah. I even have, I have, a, I have a version of secret garden in Croatian. Because my aunt was in Croatia and she bought it for me. She was like, oh, you like this? I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is an adorable book. Am Emily Shen, Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. I have the Good Wives and Warriors, Alice in Wonderland. I have this one. I have Pandora. Um, I'm looking. I have the Mysterious Library. But... I think this book is adorable. I even have the Alice Nightmare in Wonderland. But look at how much space. Like, that's a lot of open space. And I don't necessarily like that. But the book is cute. 